Hey guys, this is Ryan with Salasoft. I'm just here today to show you the newest version of Simple Workout Log, version 3. Uh, we're really excited about this version. It's a complete redesign, um, and everything about it is is better, we think. Um, so I was just hoping to go over just a quick overview today, how to, how to use some of the basic features, and then go into more detail in some more videos later. So I'll just get started right away. I'm going to go over the tabs first and then kind of touch on each one. So first of all, you're looking here at the uh, summary tab, which is a new tab, uh, new, new screen for version three. Um, you can see it shows you the last time you worked out some basic stats here, and then we'll actually list out each of your exercises you completed on that last workout. Uh, next tab over is your exercise tab. Um, which just lists out your exercises. Category tab lists out any categories you have. Routine, same thing. Lists out your routines and then we've got the tools tab which I'm going to touch on all these. So I'm going to go back and start with the exercise tab. Here you can see um, all your exercises that you've added uh, both strength exercises and cardio exercises. So um, to add a new exercise to your list, you'll see the plus button up here. You hit that, that'll open up the new exercise dialog where you just need to enter a name for the exercise. Um, I'll do bench press. Um, next field is type. <clears throat> you'll see you have either strength or cardio options. Bench press is obviously a strength exercise, so I'll choose that. And the final option or field here is category, which is an optional field, um, but it is kind of handy. It actually lets you add the exercise to a category upon creation. So you can either look through your list of categories you've already created here, or if you would like to add it to one that doesn't exist yet, you've actually got this plus button here, which lets you type the name of a new category. So bench press, I'm going to add a category called chest to add that to. Oops. Okay, and then hit save. And you'll see now that, oops, you'll see that uh, bench press is now created in my exercise list. Um, and before I move on, I'll show you if you long press an exercise, you'll actually get a menu, um, rename or delete. So you can rename that exercise. It just opens up a new opens up a new uh, dialog to rename that exercise. Um, and one final feature is the filter. It lets you search through your exercises if you have a lot of them. So leg curls, you can see it narrows your results as you type. Um, that's it for the exercise tab. Going on to the category tab. Category tab is great for uh, for sorting your exercise or grouping your exercises by muscle group or any other way you want to group them really. So again you've got the plus button up here to add a new category just enter the name and save it and it'll create it. Uh, I'm going to open up or actually before I open one up again long press gives you the same options rename or delete um, and then you open one up and you'll see any exercises that are inside of that category. Similarly, you still again have the plus button up here. Hit that and actually lets you add another exercise while inside the category. So you get your list of any exercises you've created already. Um, if it's not in there, you can hit the plus here and again can create a new exercise from within the category. Enter your name, select your exercise type, and then save it. Um, from within category, also you can long press on an exercise. It gives you the same rename or delete options, but also the remove from category option, which will then remove that exercise from the category. Uh, next is the routine tab. Routine tab is a little different from category. Um, you can do a little bit more with it. I, I generally like to create a routine for each day that I work out, so like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'll have one routine for each one. And when you open that routine, you'll see any exercises that you have in it. Um, because there's a few more options to do with routines, we actually added an additional button up here to edit it. So anytime you want to make a change to a category, you need to hit this edit button up here. 
once you hit that, you'll see a few more options. So uh, the plus button, again, to add any exercise you've already created to your routine. The uh, X button, if you just want to cancel, discard any changes you've made, and go back. Um, and then the save button for when you're done making changes to your routine. So I'll add a couple more exercises to this. Um, I had triceps, no, I've already got triceps. So a long press, again, remove from routine. That will remove your exercise from the routine. So I'll add arm curl and bicep, or uh, bench press. And you'll see on the left side here, we've got some icons. If you grab an exercise by, whoops, grab an exercise by that icon, it'll actually let you drag that and drop it so you can sort your exercise list and, and organize it how you would do it at the gym and what order you would do it. Um, and on the right side, you can see we've got some little chain link icons. This is kind of a neat feature unique to Simple Workout Log. Um, if you click them multiple times, it will actually link and unlink them. Uh, this feature is great for supersets. It's actually what it was created for. Uh, again, I'll get into more detail about supersets in another video. But uh, it's kind of a neat feature. So I think that's it for for routines. I'll save that back out of that routine. Um, and lastly is the uh, tools tab. Here you can see we've got a weight button which lets you enter your body weight. You can either click and type in your body weight or you have these plus and minus buttons which if you hold they it get, goes faster as you hold them. So you've got a couple different ways to enter your weight. And then you've got a notes field, which lets you enter any note about when you weighed yourself. So I will save that. Um, I'm actually going to go back into that and touch on, if you swipe over from the new tab, you've actually got your history tab, which is kind of nice. It shows you your history um, from when you've entered your weights. And then if you swipe over one more, you've actually got a graph and that'll let you view one, three, or six month period of time. So you can track your uh, your weight goals, whether you're trying to gain or lose. So that's kind of handy. So on a back out of there, um, import, export, you can export your database to local or cloud, which basically takes a copy of your exercise database and will save it to your SD card or your internal phone memory if you don't have an SD card. Cloud is kind of neat in that it actually lets you upload a copy of your database to our servers. Um, it's a free service we provide, which it's just nice if you lose a phone or your phone breaks, um, you can get a new phone, download the app, and then do a restore from that cloud backup and your exercises will all still be there. You won't lose anything. Um, the final option here is Excel. Um, this actually is a little different because it actually exports all your exercise data to a CSV file, which is then emailed to your cloud account email address. So you can open that file up in Excel and view all your exercise data there and, and create charts or anything else that you want to do. Uh, the last thing I'm going to touch on is how to actually enter exercise data. So I'm going to open up arm curl, a uh, strength exercise. So to enter an actual workout, you just want to enter your reps. So let's say 12 reps at 50 pounds. And then you just need to hit this plus button here. And you'll see we get a message set added, and the set gets added to the completed section. The neat thing is if you use the same numbers for each set, they, they don't go away. So you can just hit the plus button again and again, as many sets as you need. Um, and then again, of course, you can change them also. Um, and if you're like me, I actually really enjoy comparing each workout to the previous because I find that I pushed harder to hopefully add another couple of reps or up the weight a little bit. So we've made that really easy to do. You just swipe over, and again, just like in the weight section, 
you get a history of your workout so you can see the last time I worked out and what I did for reps and weights so that I can push to improve that. Um, and again, one swipe more, you have your graph where you can do a graph of your, your exercise data um, and a whole variety of different stats you can graph, including the one rep max, which is kind of a fun stat. So that is a strength exercise. And then treadmill, I'll show you cardio exercise as well. Um, basic features, duration, distance, heart rate, calories in a notes section. Same kind of thing. You've got your history as you, if you swipe over once, and if you swipe over one more time, you've got your graph, which same, same type of idea here. You've got different graphs you can use. Um, one neat feature I forgot to touch on on a strength exercise. If you long press in your history section, you get that same kind of a context menu um, where you can edit that entry, delete that entry, or the first option is copy that, that workout. So if you hit copy, it'll bring you back and it will have already entered everything from that previous workout, which is kind of handy and can save a lot of time. So the easy is submitting it and then you'll see the next time you're there, it's already been entered or added. Um, strength exercise works the same way so you swipe over long press i want to copy it and it'll bring you over and they're already added so it's just a matter of submitting that exercise to save it and then you'll see that it's been saved um i think that's about it i'll just touch on the settings really quick here you're able to switch between the imperial and metric measurement systems so miles or kilometers pounds or um kilograms. Here you've got your cloud account you can log in or out of. Again, that's for the cloud backup or emailing Excel spreadsheets. Um, and here you've got the timer. We've actually got a timer and a stopwatch. I'll enable both so you can see them. For strength exercises, we've added a countdown timer, which you can set here or again use the plus minus buttons. And it just does exactly what it sounds like. It simply counts down from what you had. You can use it as a rest timer or a timer for, you know, completing your sets, things like that. Very basic. Um, and then on cardio exercises, we've just added a simple stopwatch, which again, very, very basic. So I think that about does it for this video. Um, yeah, we're, we're really excited about the new version and really happy with the way it turned out. And we hope you like it too. Uh, you can find us on Google Plus at uh, Simple Workout Log, or you can email us through the Google Play Store. Um, again, share your thoughts, share your ideas with us. We'd love to hear from you. Um, just thanks for watching this video, and, and thanks for using Simple Workout Log.